In this example, we'll be using exercise 743, which can be found in your textbook on page 325. We will be discussing activity-based supplier costing. Companies will use activity-based supplier costing to determine which supplier is actually costing them less for their components needed to create their products. In this example, our company uses two different suppliers, Manzer and Buckner. Manzer sells the component to our company for $89 per unit, and Buckner sells the same component for $86. Because Buckner is lower, our company purchases 80% of their products from them. And in total, we need 4 million components per year. The problem also gives us information on activity data and supplier data. So they give us three different activity costs, inspecting, reworking, and warranty. And in the second part, they give us some information on the supplier data. They tell us what the unit purchase price is. They tell us how many units we purchase from each company, how many sampling hours, rework hours, and warranty hours are consumed by each different supplier. Based on this information, we need to calculate activity rates and apply them to each supplier to determine a per unit supplier cost. So the first step that we are going to do is we are going to calculate an activity rate for each activity that was mentioned. We need an activity rate for inspecting components, reworking products, and warranty work. They tell us in the problem that the activity driver for inspecting components is sampling hours. In total, it costs the company $480,000 to inspect components, and it takes them approximately 4,000 hours. Therefore, we get an activity rate of $120 per sampling hour. For reworking our products, it costs the company $6,084,000 and takes approximately 6,000 reworking hours. Therefore, there's an activity rate per rework hour of 1014 And finally, our warranty work cost $9,600,000 and takes 16,000 warranty hours to complete. That gives us a $600 per warranty hour rate. We now need to use this information to determine the cost of the component by each supplier. When we're dealing with supplier costing, don't forget that although there might look like there's only three activities in this problem, there actually is four. In order to inspect a component, rework products, and perform warranty work, we first have to purchase the component from the supplier. So that is always the first activity we have when we're dealing with supplier costing. So for Manzer, we only purchase 800,000 units and they charge us $89 per unit. Buckner, we purchase 80% of our units from, so that comes out to 3,200,000 units, and they charge us $86 per unit. For inspecting, our inspecting rate is $120 per sampling hour. We have to do 80 sampling hours for Manzer, and 3,920 sampling hours for Buckner, and we apply out the cost accordingly. For our reworking products, our rate is $1,014 per rework hour. We spend 360 rework hours on any Manzer product and we spend 5,640 rework hours on our Buckner components. And finally, for our warranty costs, our rate is $600 per warranty hour. We spent 800 warranty hours on the Manzer products and 15,200 hours on the Buckner. We apply out our cost and add all four activities together to get our total supplier cost. 
but we want a per unit cost. Therefore, we're going to divide our total cost by the number of units that we've purchased from each supplier. So for Manzer, we purchased 800,000 units, and from Buckner, we purchased 3,200,000. That gives us an activity rate of $90.07 for Manzer and $90.78 from Buckner. When we compare those to the price, the purchase price for each supplier, it actually shows that the Manzer product is a better deal for us. We're paying pennies more for all of our other activities where it's costing us another $4 plus for the Buckner product. Keep in mind though, that we were buying a significant amount more from Buckner than from Manzer. So in terms of making a decision, we might wanna start buying more from Manzer, but not totally switch up our products completely 